Hello, good evening everybody. How we all doing? I hope we are all doing all right by the grace of God. Hey, welcome to our session. It's Joy of Life, aka Woman of Courage. The job of the Lord is your strength. The job of the Lord is my strength. How we all doing? I hope we're doing all right. Okay, so today our topic will be do not let jealousy destroy your marriage. Solomon said it this way, jealousy is cruel as the grave. Jealousy is a powerful thing. Jealousy is a powerful force that we often need God's word to help us overcome it. Jealousy is a powerful force that we need God's help. Jealousy destroys marriages. Jealousy can cause death in marriages. Jealousy is a terrible thing. So without further ado, let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just want to thank you for this session. Father, we pray that you take absolutely control as we discuss this topic on jealousy. Father, give us grace to understand your word and help us to be obedient to your word, Father. Speak through me. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. So when there's jealousy in marriage, the tendency of being, being worldly is there. You get jealous of your husband or you get jealous of your wife. And you know when you're jealous, you just want to control the other person. You want to you want to police them. There's no trust. You want to control everything they do. The Bible says you are still worldly. For since there is jealousy and quarrel among you. Marriage is not for boys, it's for mature people. Two mature human beings that will come together and get married. Knowing what they are doing. So when you start, when there's quarrel and fight, you're still acting like like the world. You're still acting like mere human being. Remember, I'm, I'm addressing, you know, Christian women and men. Jealousy is a terrible thing. Jealousy is a powerful force that we often need God intervention to help us overcome it. So we have to be careful the way we treat our husband and the husband the way we treat our wives. Not too aggressive. Because you get jealous and you want to stop your wife from doing things or you stop your husband. You know, you police them, you monitor them, you control them. You have that control factor. You have that control factor because you know you are so jealous, so possessive of the other human being. But God has given us freedom. So we need to exercise that same freedom in our marriage. We need to trust our spouse. We need to trust our husband. We need to trust our wife. Not to betray each other. Because sometimes when there is no trust, jealousy kicks in. We don't have to control each other. We have to love in love. There should not be any control. No controlling factor. Because as Christians, when we know our worth in Christ, who we are in Christ Jesus, when we know that God loves us, then we're able to, you know, to we have assurance that God loves us. Then we'll not have that 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 jealousy. And, and attribute 
we were able to trust our husband. They will not be fighting or quarreling with each other. Let's look into another scripture again. Book of Corinthians, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. It says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. So no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to man. Except what is common to mankind. So if you have that jealousy tendency, I tell you what, God can help you overcome it. God can help you overcome it. Trust in God. Pray to God to take that tendency of jealousy out of your system. Because you know what? If you're jealous, you just destroy your marriage. Give your husband benefit of doubt. Trust him. And husband, trust your wife. Forgiveness is important. We're talking about jealousy here. It's a very powerful thing. Jealousy is a powerful force. But we often need God intervention to help us overcome it. So 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4, I'll read. It said, love, love, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it's, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others. Is not self seeking, it's not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. Did you hear that? It's not complicated at all. So, when we go into all this, if you have that jealousy attribute or jealousy tendency, read this. 1 Corinthians 13, it says, love is patient. Give that husband benefit of doubt. Let him explain to you. If you find him in any situation that you feel you're not comfortable with, give him that benefit of doubt. Let him explain himself to you. It's patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It's, it's not proud it is not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrong love does not delight in evil but rejoice with the truth did you hear that so i'm just encouraging us to have a wonderful marriage and a and a, and a faithful marriage we got to be patient with one another. Jealousy is not the answer. It's not the answer at all. Especially as Christian. Remember, when you know, you know, you know that your Heavenly Father loves you. When you know, you know your Heavenly Father loves you. Then, I tell you what, there's no need to be jealous at all. Because God loves you in of your imperfection. God loves you in, 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 in your imperfection. He loves you so much. You know to extend that same love to your husband. And husband, extend that same love to your wife. So jealousy is not the answer. But love is the answer. So I hope you, you encourage with this message. I hope you will think about it. Ponder about it. Ponder on this message. Go back and read the scripture. Because it's very it's one thing for us to for us to quote the scripture, 
It's another thing for us to read the scripture and meditate on it and digest it. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 to, to 6. I hope you encourage with this our words this evening. Shall we pray? So Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you so much for your word this evening, God. Thank you for the example that you send your son, Jesus Christ, Father, to show us what it means to be loved. Thank you, Father God, to do what is right as married women, as married men, oh God, I pray. Lord Jesus, take jealousy out of our system, oh God. Help us not to be jealous. Help us, oh God. Father, please, we ask in the name of Jesus. Father, we know you are a jealous God, but give us the grace not to be jealous in our marriage, so there will be peace and understanding, Lord. Father, we thank you, we praise you. If there's any woman out there that is struggling with jealousy, Lord, give them the grace to hold on to you, to know that you love them, oh God. If there's any man out there that is so jealous of their, their wives, Father, give them grace to know that you love them and they will not be controlling Father, we pray, God. We don't want jealousy to destroy marriage, oh God, Father. We thank you for this session. We praise you. To you be all the glory, Father. In Jesus' marvelous name, we've prayed. Amen. So remain blessed and God bless you. Joy of life, aka Woman of Heart. We'll see you again. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Amen. Bye. Bye.